One of the most commonly asked questions in the course of a plastic surgical consultation is, is this going to scar? And the answer is yes, it is going to scar uh, because that's how our body heals. Whether we make an incision in the brain or the heart or the bowel or the skin or the fat, it all heals the same way by scar formation. But in cosmetic surgery, the appearance of the scar is very important because people are looking for an enhanced appearance. And so we're very much more uh, tuned in to scar formation than we would be in other parts of the body or for different types of procedures. Um, scar formation has many different uh, components as to the cause. Uh, some people have a genetic predisposition to scarring. So it's important for us when we see a new patient to ask them, you know, do you have any other scars I can see to see how you heal? That's usually a pretty good indication. Uh, sometimes uh, patients with darker skin are afflicted with what's called keloid formation, which is a particularly bad type of scar. Um, the, the keloid is a scar that continues to build up scar tissue beyond the confines of the wound. And in that case, it's very good to know coming into it because certainly the patient is at risk for that type of formation afterwards and it might be good in that situation to not operate at all. Um, the other things that contribute to scar formation is the location on the body. Some parts of the body scar worse than others. Typically the back is a troublesome area, uh, probably because of all the motion that goes on on the back and it's tighter skin, but it's very difficult to have a, a really nice fine line scar on the back. The deltoid area, this area right here, is a very difficult area also. So if a patient comes in and wants a scar revision in that area or a mole removed, we think twice about doing it because we know it's going to be a very challenging area uh, for scar formation. Right here in the middle of the chest, another tough spot. Not so much on the sides, but right in the middle. And so if a patient comes in, they want a mole removed, we'll think twice before we take that mole off because we'll often trade that for a scar that's less ideal. Beyond that, other components uh, come into play as far as uh, the quality of the scar. And that would be the surgical technique. One of the most important things in surgery is do no harm. And, and it's also uh, another mandate we have is to handle the tissue gently. By nature, uh, surgery is an in injury. We feel the injury is beneficial if it's done properly, but if we handle the tissues roughly, we can create more tissue damage and more scarring. So gentle handling of tissues is very important. The location of the scar and the orientation of the, of the incision are very important also. And those things are taken into consideration when we perform any type of surgery. The next thing we think about is wound healing after we've made that incision. It's very important for us to close that wound as perfectly as possible so that when we leave that operating room we have a fine line scar set up. But as time goes on, if any type of infection occurs or any kind of wound separation, we're going to have a less than desirable scar. So preventing those problems after surgery is very important, not only for the surgeon, but for the patient and the post-operative management and adherence to the uh, instructions we give after the operation. Uh, finally, the other problems we see when we do see a scar that's starting to widen or thicken, we can inject that occasionally with a steroid. This type of injection doesn't give the patient the look of a person on steroids. It only affects the wound. But in many patients, it can thin that scar to some degree and settle it down. If that happens and we see the scar responding to the steroids, we might consider a scar revision in the future knowing that that patient does respond uh, to the steroids and if we create a new scar that we don't like, we can start the steroid injections early or maybe start it right at the uh, conclusion of the operation to help prevent a scar. We have a new product today that we offer to many of our patients after surgery. It's called Embrace. Embrace is a system that is uh, intended to take away the tension of the wound so that it can heal with more of a fine line scar. It's an additional cost to the patient. It, we offer it to the right patients after surgery. When I say the right patient, some parts of the body don't lend themselves to the Embrace system, but typically a, a tummy tuck or some type of breast surgery would be a good candidate for that. So in summary, as we look at post-operative 
scar management, the most important thing is to start selecting the patients properly. If we have a patient who always has a bad scar developed despite the best efforts of the surgeon, it might be wise to not perform that operation. Uh, the next thing is the performance of as perfect an operation as we can. Uh, we, we strive for perfection, we can't promise that, but if we handle the tissues gently and think in terms of, of decreasing the trauma to the wound, then we can hopefully decrease scarring. Postoperatively, we'll do everything we can to, to prevent any type of infection or wound breakdown, but if that does occur and after healing is obtained and if the scar is undesirable, we could consider a scar revision. If, if a patient has a thickened scar, as we mentioned earlier, we can start with some steroid injections, and if they, do in, uh, if they do respond to the steroid injections, we would regard them as a reasonable candidate for a revision with the understanding that we would start the um, injections shortly after the revision. The most important thing the patient can do, though, is follow our directions to help maintain a clean healing wound and hopefully prevent any type of wound healing problems.